it is a continuation of evaluation of aerosols part 2 in the previous class i discussed about the previous evaluation parameters continuation of it dosage with metered valves when one attempts to test this then either of the following must be absorbed especially uh, in the in case of meter dose we know that in one actuation the particular dose has to be produced so the first one is reproducibility of dosage each time when the valve is depressed so initially if the dose is 5 micro 5 mg then in one actuation it should produce 5 mg and again second third fourth actuation it should produce the same so that has to be tested the test is aerosol is actuated there are two three types of tests the first test is aerosol is actuated one or two times so that the product will be coming out and that will be put into the solvent directly it is uh, actuated into the solvent and the solvent the choice of solvent should be in such a way that it should be uh, the drug should be solvable in the particular solvent now the amount of drug present in the solvent is determined by the assay technique second method aerosol is actuated one or two times into a material which absorbs the active ingredients the amount of drug that is absorbed is determined by assay technique and third method the accurate weight of the container is noted you can make or you can note it as w i g aerosol is actuated for several doses any number of times again the weight after dispensing is noted w f g so w i g indicates the initial weight and w f g indicates the final weight by this calculation dosage with metered valves equal to w i minus w f by n number of times gives the quantity in gram per actuation and the second identification test is that amount of medication actually received by the patient so this is an external method first one is an external method this is an internal method where we want to identify really how much the patient has received the medication so for that the aerosol is actuated into an artificial respiratory system the drug entered into the system is then determined the next evaluation parameter is net contents identify or to determine the net contents uh, there are three methods used the first method is initial weight of empty aerosol container is noted after filling the weight is noted difference in the weight is the net content and second method is that filled container weight is noted aerosol is actuated to dispense the contents completely again the difference again the weight is noted difference in the weight is the net contents and third method initial weight of the filled container is noted by opening the valve allowing the product to get it removed again the weight of the container is noted difference in the weight is the net contents form stability the life of form can range from few seconds to one hour or more so to determine this form stability any of the following methods can be used so this form stability it is not applicable for all the types of aerosols the one which produces forms first method is actuate an aerosol to produce the forms no down the time required for a complete collapse of form by visual observation just observe the time how much it is taking how much time is taking to collapse it completely second method actuate an aerosol to form the uh, form no down the time required for a given mass to penetrate the form a mass can be put into the uh, form so that the time taken is observed third method actuate an aerosol to produce the form not on the time required for a rod that is inserted into the form to fall just when you insert a rod uh, the form will fall the time is observed and the fourth method is using the rotational viscometer where we get the accuracy where we get the accuracy of this result more when compared to the previous three methods particle size determination it's very important the particle size to be determined to determine the particle size we use a cascade impactor the cascade impactor it consists of series of nozzles and uh, glass sides see this is a this is a cascade impactor it consists of a series of nozzles and glass slides when 
aerosol see from the upper part when the aerosol is actuated when the aerosol is actuated the larger particles impact first on the lower velocity stage then the smaller particles pass on and impact at the next stage that is at higher velocity stage in short we can say that the larger particles will fall on the low velocity stage and the smaller particles will fall on the high velocity stage in such a way the particles ranging from 0.1 to 30 microns can be studied so we can identify the differentiation of the particle size by using this cascade impact leakage test pass the crimped aerosol containers through the water bath if any leaks are present air bubbles evolution of air bubbles can be observed and the container is rejected and the third important evaluation was the therapeutic activity testing of aerosols really the uh, before it was about the physical physically and chemically and this is the therapeutic activity which has to be done in biological ways so it can be it is similar to testing of non aerosol products apart from regular tests dosage testing dosage is testing for inhalation aerosols for topical preparations absorption of therapeutic ingredients is determined toxicity it is also a very important parameter for the evaluation of aerosols it includes the following like irritation of affected area where dose is determined prior prior administration of these aerosols the toxicity is test to be carried out or to have any irritation in the affected area or not second chilling of skin due to evaporation of propellants so that is an identification where the propellant is the propellant is getting leaked it it leads to chillness that thereby it leads to the toxicity third rise in temperature on spraying of aerosol sometimes uh, if we feel that uh, the temperature the body temperature is getting raised or the the te the product concentrate temperature is getting raised these all leads to the toxicity inhalation toxicity studies through the preparation is for the topical use this can be done by exposing animals to vapors sprayed from an aerosol container it is an conclusion point regarding the test evaluation test of the aerosols flash point already i have discussed that it is done by a tag open cup apparatus vapor pressure is determined with the help of the pressure gauge density by hydrometer or pyknometer moisture content with the help of the carl fischer apparatus 